Hello guys! Beautiful, beautiful Thursday. I put some very light makeup just to go to the airport. I'm a little early. I'm two hours early but I'm thinking I can walk around and just go shopping, have a lunch or something. So I'm gonna get changed and then call a grab and go to the airport. See you in a bit! And the first stop is food. This is in Flight Club KLIA 1. This laksa is surprisingly pretty good. My mom ordered the worst congee of her life. And dear KLIA definitely needs some upgrade, especially in the toilet, but that's for another video. Then I finally arrived in Bangkok and went to their grab pickup point. Oh, it was a long, long wait. I waited for almost 50 minutes. And that's the guy telling you which is the car plate number. That was interesting. Finally, after a long, long wait, we're going into the city and going to check in in our hotel. I think it took like almost two hours to get there. Crazy. I know the traffic's gonna be bad, but I think it's worse than what I expected. So finally, after two hours, we finally arrived at this hotel and there was a big issue. So I bought this package like from MH Holiday, which is from Malaysia Airlines. You kind of just add on a hotel. When we reached there, they cannot find our reservation just anywhere and I paid full for this. I have the receipt, I have the confirmation, I have everything but they just can't seem to find the booking. I had to open up my phone and call this hotline, supposedly emergency only because it was like 8 or 9 p.m. already. They finally got it done after an hour. It was so much of talking back and forth. They keep asking me questions. I had to show them everything. But finally, after like an hour, I was so tired. All the plans was ruined. I just want to have a meal and go and sleep. It was not great. An MH holiday, what the hell are you doing? I was so tired. I didn't even take a picture of the hotel room. We went to this mall straight away. This is, I don't know whether this is M Quartier or M Emporium. It's a little confusing, but nice metropolis vibe. This is what we had. And I don't know if you can see at this point, my eyes was red. My contact lens really hurts like hell. So I took out my contact lenses in the toilet and changed it with my specs. This is the restaurant's vibe. It's pretty chill and I'm gonna say. And this, I don't know the name of this dish, but I love this dish. It's good, but a little too small portion. Can someone from Thailand tell me if this is a Thai food? It doesn't taste like Thai food, it tastes like oxtail soup. This betel leaves tempura was good. For those of you who are curious, this is how much I've spent. I don't know if it's just me or Thailand is getting more and more expensive each year. Still, I think the food was pretty good. So after my meal, I cannot wait to go back and sleep. Just walking back because it's near and just enjoying the metropolis bangkok colorful views i actually like the vibes in the city here it's very chill i mean despite all the hiccups from the hotel the hotel is actually very convenient it's just right next to m sphere which is this building that i'm showing you and that's m sphere i'm gonna come back here tomorrow it's closed now because it's like almost 10 but look at the pretty pretty led lights very city vibes so this is the view from my hotel room Personally, I really enjoy like city vibes, city views. I know some people like beach and rural, but that I like too. City vibes also I appreciate. First things first, mask for that moisture face. Done. Good day. It's a beautiful morning in Bangkok. We're heading out for breakfast, free hotel breakfast, then some shopping, some sightseeing. See you guys in a while. Welcome to the hotel's free breakfast spread. Not the most impressive spread, but it's all right. I had a little bit because I wanted to try other dishes. I'm prepared to go out there to eat. I just wanted to show you guys the very pretty pool. I would go out there to sit and have breakfast, but it's a little too hot. But just look at the vibes. The wind, the pool, the skies, the city. It's pretty. And finally time to go out. 
We're walking to M Sphere because it's just next door. Just look at the colorful vibes. Oh yeah, the weather is really hot, but AC, here we come. This is like the current most like happening mall. I think everyone's talking about it on social media. Oh, and this is the Butter Bear, I think. I saw many people posting this on social media, but it's 10.05 a.m. in the morning and everyone's lining up for it. This is crazy. You know, I actually really like this mall. It's very chill with all the very colorful decorations, very young, very modern. There's a lot of food as well. It felt like a very artistic mall since there were art pieces everywhere. And my first mission, Eve and Boy, I need to buy makeup. There's a lot, a lot of Thai makeup brands here. I think I stayed in this place for like 40 minutes. A lot of good quality but affordable makeup. So we continue shopping. It's not a big mall, there's not that much of shops, but food, I think there's quite a vast choice. I find this conveyor belt bags so adorable. I mean, I didn't buy it because I design my own bags if you guys don't know, but I love the concept. I really like the design of the mall. It's very open. So yeah, the next thing we're gonna do is actually to look for lunch. And I wanna have some Thai food for lunch obviously because we're in Thai and there's some kind of tropical fruit fest going on right now. I didn't actually eat the tropical fruit because I was too full from whatever lunch that I was having on that day. Look at this. The neon lights, the colorful, cute, artistic vibes. Super cute, right? They've also got a wide selection of fruits here. Yes, yeah, very tourist price, but convenient for whoever tourists that's nearby. And finally, lunchtime. I mean, this Nafa, I think. I hope I didn't butcher that. I ordered this Longa drink. Very good. My mom ordered this drink. A little too sour, I think. This dish, I don't know. It's a little too spicy for me. Like, mind you, I'm Malaysian. I can eat spice, but that one is crazy. But one thing that I appreciate is that everything on this bowl is really fresh. I can taste it. And this beef, this was so good with the sticky rice and all the veg, the sauce. This was perfect. I ordered grab and off to the next destination. This is Siam Square. So I'm here to go shopping because I heard this place has a lot of nice shops. So let's see. But first, Fire Tiger. I saw this and I was so excited. This is my favorite, favorite milk tea. They actually have one in KL, but they closed down. They used to have it in Mid Valley. So I'm really excited to see this here. So I went shopping around Siam Square, but didn't really find anything interesting. And I just continued going to Siam Paragon next. So I've been to Siam Paragon like a few times. Walked around, didn't really have batteries to show you guys more. And then we found these little desserts. My mom wanted to eat them so bad. These have like very, very pretty outer shape, chewy, and then there's mung bean paste inside. And let me tell you, this was the worst, the worst that we ever had. Don't buy from this Tonga cafe, I think. This was so bad. I've never had such a bad, I don't know what you call this in Thai, but I've always had good ones. Like nobody does it bad in Bangkok except for them. I don't know, it's just really bad. I'm back at the hotel, getting ready to go to these job fairs night market, if I'm reading it correctly. Hopefully there's some fun stuff to do. It's been a long, long day in traffic. You guys know all about Bangkok traffic. So the thing that I noticed about Bangkok, like, okay, in context, I've been to Bangkok around five times for the past 10 years. The last time I've been here is probably like before COVID. A little before COVID, I think maybe right before COVID. So the prices of the, the prices of things are getting more and more expensive. Like the spike is really really high. Uh, all I can say it's even more expensive to live here than in KL. 
surprisingly or maybe Malaysian's currency is like super weak so I find everything is like so much more expensive than before COVID so I bought this like fruit juice right uh, at the end it cost like 180 baht which is almost like 24 25 ringgit after conversion so this hotel has like really nice lights and mirrors in the bathroom great for my makeup and dressing up purpose I love the mirror look at this golden hour it's so pretty you know the golden arrow feels and here we are jot fairs so I thought oh the crowd is not that bad but turns out we're not even in the zone yet not even at the crowded part yet and then we had to go to the toilet so this toilet was a very new experience there's this gate that is turning you gotta pay like coin to go in I mean paying is fine I think many toilets they ask for payment but the condition wasn't that good I wouldn't come back for toilet if I could toilet was surprisingly cleaner than what I expected I'm not gonna show you guys the footage inside the toilet because it's gonna be unappetizing but let's move on I don't know if you can see me in this video find me if you can so we started exploring more and more of the place I wanted to see the food and stuff there's a lot a lot of stores but many stores are very repetitive like it's like all the stores are the same I didn't really sit down and have the food because it looked really crowded and there's not much of tables there's a lot of seafood stores in this place but again I didn't want to eat seafood and there's really too many people it's too crowded I wanted to leave and go to another place after exploring Jot Pears, we are on the way to Hui Kuang Night Market. So here we are. I'm really excited to go shopping because before this, I've been here many years ago. It was a really nice place to shop. But this time, I feel like the stuff is not as fashionable and most of them is from China. I want to buy some local made stuff. And this cat, I cannot. I had to pet this cat before I leave. This cat is so adorable. And all these are my shopping footage. Did I buy anything? I did not. I don't know, like this time, my Bangkok trip, there wasn't really much shopping. For some reason, I just don't really like the items. Yes, just my mom checking out some shoes. The shopping doesn't stop. There's some really affordable items here as well. Okay, I didn't shoot it, but I bought some street food from this street to bring back to the hotel and eat. It was one of the best like eats in Bangkok so far. Good morning from BKK. Today is the last day we're here. I'm actually leaving late afternoon. So it's 8.30 now. I think Platinum opens at 9. I want to go shop at Platinum. Supposedly today, I want to go shop at Chatucha and then Union Mall. But the traffic is worse than what I expected. I know the traffic is really, really bad, but it's worse than what I thought it is. So I'm just going to go somewhere near, which is Platinum, then maybe lunch. I know it's a very touristy place, but it's near. So I don't have to worry much and then go back. Hopefully, I'll find something nice to buy. And I haven't actually bought anything. Can you imagine like in Bangkok, I haven't bought anything. I bought like cosmetics, but I have not bought any clothes. Just cosmetics. I'm really, really disappointed. So I hope later I have some clothes to actually buy. Let's go. So I'm here in Platinum Mall. It says 9 to opening, but there's not much stores opening. I'm just going to slowly walk around wait for the stores to open. There were more and more stores opening but i feel like the clothes are like not really in trend you know i've seen these few years ago so this store actually has quite inexpensive jeans they're quite nice and my mom actually bought a few stuff here again i went to the beauty department and bought some stuff Also bought some bath bombs from here. 
There's actually quite a variety of things that you can shop here in Platinum, but I can't really find like really really fashionable stuff. And then we went out of Platinum Mall and we walked into this Grand Diamond Plaza, I believe. They have really nice boutiques downstairs. There's only a few, I think two or three boutiques downstairs, but they are all really nice. I actually managed to buy quite a few pieces. This shop, I don't know what this shop is called, but look at all the pants. They actually make only a few pieces each. I think they're like a designer label or something. Very affordable, but very cool design. And I kind of regret not buying more because I actually like that few pants. I bought like two or three pants. There's also a nice top. So people have been raving about this December's online. There's like a level, multi-level boutique. Let me check this out and let you guys know. There is really like I think three or four levels and how's the stuff? For me it's ugly. Pure ugly. Maybe different people, different tastes. For me, it's just really bad. A waste of my time. And then I read online somewhere there's this mall called Shibuya Pratunam nearby, so I'm gonna walk there. And we are finally here, Shibuya Pratunam Mall. Um, it's nothing much to boast about. A very tiny mall. I just had a quick like 15 minutes walk. Nothing much. And prepared to eat lunch after this. So for lunch, I decided to go back to M-Sphere because my luggage is still in the hotel. So it's going to be way easier to just get the luggage and go to the airport. We decided to have Korean food for lunch. This is in Happy Pig Amsphere. Supposedly, I still wanted to have Thai food, but when I passed by this place, the smell is just so good. I had to go in and try. Despite not having such a good rating on Google, this place was actually pretty good because I love Korean food. And then they actually gave us Thai sauce. That's a little surprising. As much as I love Thai sauce, this is Korean food, so I had to have my gochujang sauce. They also have quite good service. They refilled the vegetable and all the side dishes for us without us even asking. So we ordered a set and we added on some meats and this corn fritters. Oh, this was really good. Just look at it. Next thing, desserts. How can you not have desserts when you're in Bangkok? This is Pang Cha, a very very famous Thai tea dessert. I had to try it because everyone was raving about it. This is the total damage if you're curious. This is the dessert and let me tell you, this is huge. Like, you can have it with three or four person. And I don't have much expectation for this, but this was one of the best desserts I've ever had in my life. Like, thank you for introducing me to this. I received a bad news saying that our flight was delayed, which is bad. So I continued doing more shopping, more walking, I think more dessert later. And after like probably an hour of walking, I really needed to sit down and I saw this matcha Tokyo shop sit down to have a matcha so let's see if the matcha is good and one of the reasons why i came in because it looked really zen and i needed some peace right now after so much walking and they also have cute little desserts but i'm too full for that this was the damage and this was the matcha latte ice and all i can say is it was worth the price it was good and to waste more time, we decided to go to IKEA so we can use our spare time to wait for a delayed flight. So here we are in IKEA. I haven't been to IKEA even in Malaysia for a long time, but after going to Bangkok, I feel like going to the KL IKEA now to check things out. This was actually a really small IKEA, but now I feel like eating desserts again. I saw this dessert. This is an Ekin house in Emsphere. It looks so pretty and it looks good. It's a banofi. I mean, look at it. It's so pretty. I want to bring the bottle back. This is how it looks like inside. 
there's a lot of different choices here as well. And this is their famous caramel coffee. Was this good? No, I think it was just normal. So at this point, it's already nighttime and I need my dinner. We're having dinner at this place in the airport. This noodle dish was bad, but this dish that my mom ordered, this was actually really good. So thank you for watching my Bangkok vlog. I've had fun. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next.